the explanation. Someone needs to explain to me what's going on. It is what it ain't. It's your girl Ombre Alert and I am back with another video. I'm a little psycho, you feel me? Like a D-list movie. This is somebody that we should have heard about in school. What is going on with the school system? You guys are going to be shocked when I say what I'm about to say. what it ain't it's your girl ombre alert and i'm back with another video yes my christmas tree is still up in the back don't come for me don't do it don't do it it's gonna be up till february period i'm not playing but anyways y'all y'all already know if you see the title of this video you already know what's going on we're talking about the bruce beach situation what's going on if you have been a loyal subscriber of mine you already know that this video is about to be lit it's a new year you know what i'm saying more videos more uploads are on the way but i had to do this one i had to do this one as soon as possible y'all like what is going on let me bring this back some because we have to talk are y'all kidding me did y'all hear about what's going on with Bruce Beach? So apparently the Bruce family has given the land back to Los Angeles, California. Um, after all the hard work of the Where's My Land Foundation, they decided to, which, which ended up signing the legislation last year, they ended up giving the land back to the government of LA. We're going to talk about it right here, right now. Let's just get into it. If you are ready, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to this channel for more videos and more topics just like this. Okay. So if you have been loyal and you've been rocking with me for a few years now, I did do two parts of the Bruce Beach a story i did this last year on my channel the videos did really well it was a really good response and i even got in contact with the where's my land foundation organization and i was talking to um a member of the organization on instagram and we were talking and it was cool. Like, I was pressed. I was like, wow, like I actually reached out to an organization that's doing bomb things for the black community. If you don't know what Where's My Land is, it is an organization that helps black families retrieve their land back to the rightful owners. So they're doing amazing things. Shout out to Kayvon Ward, the founder of the organization. They're doing bomb, doing amazing things, doing groundbreaking work. Um, and one of their biggest projects and most popular projects was the Bruce Beach and Justice for Bruce Beach. And if you're familiar with the story, Charles and Willa Bruce, they opened a resort in LA on the beach in 1912. They opened up a resort, they had a cafe, they had a lodge for people, they had bathing suits, food, everything. It was like a black oasis, a place where black people could come and swim and just have fun and, you know, live the L.A. dream, the L.A. lifestyle that would be restricted, you know, because of Jim Crow laws back in the day. Black people couldn't stay out past a certain time. They couldn't swim in the ocean. They couldn't do nothing. You already know this. Um, if you want to know more details about the story, make sure that you go click the links below in the description. And in that description, you'll see my part one video and part two so you know what's going on. But fast forward into 2023 because it's a new year. Y'all, it's only like five days into the new year and we already got some shocking things going down. This is so shocking. So apparently, you know, the legislation for them to get their land back was signed last year and not even after the ink is dry you know um they're giving it back they're giving it back to government after after charles and willa bruce worked so hard to create this resort and to have it taken away from them in 1924 to have put all their money and their blood sweat and tears into it and for it to be like the black american dream 
for them to get it robbed of them and then for them you know 90 years later to get it back just to give it back to the government like i need an explanation someone needs to explain to me what's going on because i don't understand i don't understand why this is taking place and i i feel like people are thinking about it wrong it's not that it it's not about it being the best decision for them i think it's the fact that you only thought about yourself. You only thought about what you wanted. You didn't think about the possibilities and how this could affect everyone in the black community. You didn't think enough about everyone else. You only thought about what you wanted to do. And if you couldn't, my my thing to the family, this is me addressing the family, okay? My thing is, is that if you couldn't, handle it then you could have given it to someone else you could have given it to someone within the black community um that you know you could have allowed it to be up for grabs for anyone um it could have been like a shark tank thing you know like you could have had people come to you young entrepreneurs with a powerpoint you know about their business it's a lot of business owners including myself you know, that would have loved the opportunity to, you know, have something substantial like that and to give back to our community because we already know in the black community, we don't have enough generational wealth. We don't have enough togetherness, you know, in general. So it's insulting. It's insulting to make this kind of a decision that could have em embarked and created so much opportunities for black people. It's insulting to not, for us not to be included in that discussion of what to do with it because that's what Charles and Willa Bruce would have wanted and to be honest none of us know them not even the family y'all don't know them like that so knowing the history and knowing the background and knowing everything that they sacrificed just to make this resort just to keep it open after the KKK was coming through there burning up shit I mean just just to think about all the adversity that they you know struggle with just to give it back I, I you can't tell me you're not going to be able to convince me that they would have been happy with this decision I'm sorry you're just not gonna like I'm I'm not convinced. I'm not convinced that this was a good idea. I'm not convinced that they would have loved this idea. And I'm not convinced that, you know, they understand the fabric of what's going on and the fabric of the story in general. How can you understand what's really going on if you would make this kind of decision? How? I mean, it could have been so many things like... It could have been broken down into a whole city. Like, it could have been, like, the new black, like, Wall Street. It could have been, like, the best. It could have been, like, a black Coney Island. It could have just been the best thing ever. It, I have so many ideas for what this could have been. And it's a damn shame that we couldn't come together and just do this one thing. Like, you know, it's already, we already have this, uh this sense of just division within our race that disgusts me. I even felt it today when I was out. Like, sometimes we just be on a thousand with each other for no reason. Like, you know, when everybody should be just minding their own business, you know what I'm saying? Or everybody is minding their own business. And it's, it's no reason why we shouldn't be giving each other love and light. Anytime that we speak, anytime we see each other. And... I'm tired of seeing people, my people, black people, meet up and it's not for a business meeting. It's not for some entrepreneurial work. It's not for some community outreach and it's not for nothing like that. I'm sick of that. I'm so sick of it. This is a real mockery and a disgrace. And I'm I'm only saying that because I'm just really, I've been pissed off ever since that I saw this. Ever since I saw this headline, I was pissed off because I was just so confused. And I did, like I said, I did research and I made these videos a year ago. And I was, you know, really enthralled in the story. And, you know, I really felt compelled to speak on it and to, you know, put it out there and tell people about Charles and Willa Bruce and, 
and what it could have been, you know, and now to know that it's not going to be anything that we have a say in or are a part of, it's, it's really appalling. It's really appalling. And, um, I also want to add some comments and then just respond to that because this was on the shade room. I originally found the story on Hollywood Unlocked. So I went on there to see if they had talked about it, but I didn't see a post. Maybe I missed it. Um, but I was going to add some comments from Hollywood Unlocked as well, but I didn't see a post about it. So I'm just going to read some from the shade room. Um... The rapper the game, he said, um, I put a black owned five star hotel on it. I like the idea of that too. I really do. Um, especially ran correctly. I, I like I love the idea of that because back in the day we could barely uh go to like hotels or there wasn't anywhere that we could really go, especially a hotel. Um we had to eat in the kitchen and you know, just just we had to go through the back and all this other crazy shit. Um, all this other racist type shit was going down back then. Um, someone else said, why not turn it into what it was supposed to be, a Black-owned resort? I think that that is probably the best idea, you know? I think that's the best idea for it, for it to be what it was supposed to be. Resort nowadays can mean a lot of different things, but... I think turning it into something that it was meant to be, but elevating it into 2023 standards would have been palm as hell. Because there was a lot of ignorant comments. I'm not going to read a lot of those, but there was a lot of people saying that, you know, they they got the bag and all this other stuff because they sold it back to LA for $20 million. Um... Some people were saying that, you know, they, they just got to the bag. They got their money. Some people were also saying, like, you could win more money on the lottery, playing the lottery, than you could sell in this land. Um, some people also said that, you know, they felt like they could have got more. Like, if they were willing to give them $20 million, then why not give them more for it? Um, I can guarantee you that whatever they put on there is going to be way worth way more than 20 million. Like, and that's how they get black folks. Unfortunately, we, I just can't wait till we get to a point where we don't go for that. We, we are doubling up on our money's sake. Another comment says, y'all talking about get the bag when they were already making 40K a month off the land and would have been making that plus more forever. 20 mil is nothing compared to what the generational wealth could have brought. Black people moving backwards, big L. I totally agree with this. I totally agree with this. I think that it is a big L uh, for the whole community, not even just the family. Because I'm pretty sure they're satisfied with their decision. And that's why it's public now. Uh, because when people do things like that, and black people do things like that, it's like they just, they, they could care less because they have the money, but it's about the principle. Um, I did see that a lot of the, you know, members of the family are older, um, like they're older adults, like maybe in their forties to, to sixties. Um, so I'm curious to, um, kind of know like what the younger like what if they have kids and if the kids are like around my age you know what I mean or in their early 20s or something or even teenagers I'm curious to know like what they th think about this and if they would have done something differently because I'm pretty sure they weren't involved in it um and I'm pretty sure some most of them have kids so I know that they're, the kids weren't involved in this, and I feel like that's a disservice as well um, because, you know, the, the children are the future. You know what I'm saying? Like, children are the future, and, you know, their ideas are important too. And, you know, just to have this decision being made, it just, uh, it just makes me so mad. It's just, I'm trying, y'all. I'm trying not to be disrespectful because I really want to say what I really want to say. 
And y'all already know I keep it real, but I can't disrespect nobody like that. But it just, I feel disrespected. Like, <laughs> I feel disrespected. Like, that could have been somewhere that we, we could have held, like, cookouts, like, on, um, what's the movie? On, like, on Poetic Justice, we could have had big cookouts there. Like, it could have just been, like, good, a good thing. You know, it's a lot of... People have a lot of bad things to say about black people and the black community. It could have just been a really good thing, especially as far as the past five years. A lot of black people have been dying, getting killed by police. A lot of celebrity black men have been um, have been murdered or died of suicide or, and you know, other things. And, I mean, it just could have been something so amazing that could have just uplifted a lot of our spirits and just like been the best thing to start off the new year to hear this news starting off the new year is just like oh my god are you kidding me it's just like i just want all of us to win i want all of us to just get smarter and not do things that just make us look stupid like this and i'm sure you know, I'm hoping that there is a better explanation than the ones that are stuck in my head. But I just don't know, y'all. I just think that this was a, a horrible mistake. This was a horrible decision. And I would have never had anything other than keeping it in mind. Um, other than, you know, lots of ideas. And it could have just been something that could have been opened up for everyone to kind of help with they could have reached out to us and we could have helped them like make a decision i feel like this is this is you know just as much important to us as it is to charles and willa bruce because charles and willa bruce made that resort for black people to enjoy and they made this decision without us in, involved in it, without a thought of us involved. And um, it is alarming, to say the least. And I'm upset about it, as as I know you are. Because um, it just could have been so many things. It could have been a facility to teach you know, black people about financial literacy because it's very important. Oh no, it could have been housing for homeless for black homeless people. It could have been a facility for to help single mothers. It could have been a lot of stuff on that land, um, a lot of different things, and just to have it all like just be taken away and it's not even a thought anymore. It's just ridiculous. It's ombre alert. I had to come through with some with some type of heat starting off the new year. I'm appalled at their decision. I would love to hear what you guys think. Um, what are your thoughts? Like, do you think that they made a good decision giving the land back to LA for twenty million dollars? Would you have given the land back for twenty million dollars? Would you have either asked for more money or would you have kept the land yourself and reached out to the black community if you were confused as to what to do with it? Um, I need to hear your thoughts. You know what I'm saying? It's Ombre Alert. Thank you guys for watching. I will be back with more videos coming very soon. See you guys in the next upload and see you guys in the comments because we got to talk about this. Okay, bye.